In this next set of videos, we're gonna show you how we constructed a two-piece, 20-foot bar top using only the best upstart epoxy. We started off by getting the slabs that we were gonna need for this bar top. We went with Russian olive wood, and you can tell that these are humongous, humongous 12-foot slabs, folks. 12 feet by three inches thick. So they were pretty heavy. You gotta always start by taking off that bark. You always wanna make sure that there's no debris and no loose bark left on your live edge. Because if anything, what that's gonna do is that's gonna compromise the bond that occurs between the epoxy and the wood. You always wanna work with a clean surface. So I recommend pulling off all that bark, getting it all out of there. There's tools you can use to to clean it off. And sometimes we'll even get a grinder or a sander just to make sure that that wood is impeccable and that there's no debris left that can cause any kind of error for us. So that's kind of the fun part when you're working with these. It's also a really good idea if you have an air hose or if you can get a hold of some air to blow out all that loose debris that's in there. There's a lot of areas that contain some of the sawdust from when the slabs were milled. There's a lot of areas where uh, little grubs or whatever got in there and burrowed into the wood and they leave remnants around. So it's always wise to make sure you get all that sawdust, all that just debris out of there. It's just an extra step just to make sure, like I said before, that that bond between the epoxy and the wood is solid in 100%. That's what you want. At this level, you don't want any errors or any mistakes because this is huge. Then we started cutting out the base for our form. We went ahead and went with plywood this time and we measured out all the areas that we needed to do. There was gonna be a super straight long portion of the bar, which was gonna measure 12 feet. Then there was gonna be a curved area. That's gonna be the second part of the bar that we'll attach to it that was eight feet. So we got everything all measured out squared away and we cut out the curved portion, butted them together and got kind of a glimpse of what it was gonna look like. So sometimes when your scroll saw doesn't go all the way through, you gotta go by any means necessary to get those extra parts of wood off whenever you're making any cuts. We went ahead and got our pocket hole drill set and we were gonna be putting the sides of this form on top of the base of the form. So we had to drill in some pocket holes. That way we could drill in diagonally and not mess up the form. Then it was the fun time. We had to tape the base. These big forms like that, they take a little time to make, but you always want to make sure that they're secure so that you don't get any leaks. We grabbed some good old Tyvek and went to town. Made sure we got the base done, made sure we got all the sides done, and then we attached the form together. Mail call. So for this particular project, we were gonna be estimating that we we're gonna need about 24 gallons of epoxy, deep pour. So we got all that squared away, we got it all unboxed, and we got our form all put together and attached. We got the piece of wood put in the form. We looked at all this liquid gold right in front of us. We got some mica powder. We were gonna go ahead and use uh, Upstart Epoxy's blue-green mica pigment. And the other color that we were gonna use was from another distributor called Liberty Copper. In the past, we've had a lot of luck with these two colors performing well together. They meld together and they blend just pretty perfect. So we decided to use both of those colors and really make the customer happy with what we were gonna go ahead and create. These two colors are really, really used a lot in the Southwestern area of the country. So we figured this was gonna be a perfect, perfect color combination for this bar top. And here we go. It's time to start pouring in all this goodness, folks. We have a bunch of pours on this table. This was a piece of wood that was really, really uh, knotted up and burly. And you can just tell by all the beautiful, beautiful detail and accent points that are on it. It really was a tremendous piece of wood. And we got it from a local millsmith in Albuquerque. And you can just see how beautiful this epoxy pours and how beautiful it flows especially when you give it some color like that. This was a lot of epoxy that we were gonna use. So we had to really, really make sure that we accounted for every drop. So folks, like I was saying, this is part one of this small series that we're gonna produce 
in making this humongous bar top. So stay tuned for next week's episode, which will show part two, the clear coat and constructing the rounded and curved part of this bar. This is really exciting, folks, and it's really fun stuff to watch. And we try and throw a little knowledge out there for you guys and try and teach you guys and give you pro tips and hints as to how you could one day create something as beautiful and stunning as this is going to come out. So make sure you stay with us. If you like this video, click that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when we make another video, hit that little notification bell. Remember to stay tuned for part two of this small series coming next week. This is Steve with Upstart Epoxy, and we'll see you next time.